What's going on, everybody? Weston Hockwitz here at PackersNews.com. Joined alongside, once again, Eric Baranchek, our Packers correspondent. Going to look at the outside and inside linebacker positions today. Starting with the outside, obviously the impact that Clay Matthews had without that hand and, and that break that he had. Well, I think, first of all, with Clay Matthews, that hand really hindered him. It really took away from his game. And, and I mean, there's not a lot of things that most people can do one-handed. Right. And to ask him to go out there and take out a 320-pound guy and, and be as, as physical as he was with one hand is, is tough. And, I, you know, my hat's off to him. He was out there with a broken thumb, uh, putting his body at risk for the team. That, that's a team guy. And, right. and that's something that, you know, one thing that I didn't realize he had that kind of heart. I, you know, I, I questioned some of that. So, um, but I, I think that it really hurt him. And it, 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 as you said, it rippled all the way down through because you took away their one playmaker that they had on defense, and right. they took him completely away. Um, and even when he came back, it just wasn't the same. Uh, with regards with Nick Perry, I'm not so sure that his his best position would be with his hand on the ground. Um, I, I just think that his body type does not lend himself well for that position. The same thing with Mike Neal. You saw Mike Neal really struggle in space, and that's the thing with, with Perry as well, struggles in space. Um, with, you know, with that position, I think a guy like Andy Mulumbo would be is more of the prototypical body type that you want for that position. Uh, you know, lean in the hips and lean in the ankles with you know fast twitch guys. Right. Uh, the one thing about Perry that is nice uh, is he is big and he is strong. He's able to nullify a, a tight end for a quick second on a line of scrimmage. Um, it certainly is a nice anchor. You know, if they're going to run, he sets the point real well. But uh, the pass rush part of it is really where, where he struggles, and uh, that's that's where they need. They need to get that other out, outside linebacker that can rush the passer a little bit. Inside linebacker, you look at A.J. Hawk and Brad Jones. Seemed like Jones, after he had that injury, really wasn't the same player he was the first you know kind of month of the season. I think defense. they need to add an inside backer. They need to add a more explosive, a more physical type uh, player inside there, um, especially when they're in that nickel front. When they're in the nickel front, two down linemen, those inside backers have to be be physical and be right. explosive, and uh, I think Brad Jones plays a little too high. I think when they had Francois, you saw a, before he got injured right. briefly, uh, you saw a guy who played a little bit more physical, um, and I think the book is still out with uh, Lattimore. Uh, you know, Lattimore plays with nice leverage, uh, certainly has the quickness, uh, plays a little bit more physical. Has some long arms as well. Yeah, no, 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 no doubt. But, uh, you know, I think they need to be more physical, and if you watch the games, uh, in the playoffs, and you saw teams that had physical linebackers that would run through plays, played sideline to sideline. Those are special guys, I get that, but you, they need to find one there, and they need to develop one and get one in there because, um, you know, if they're going to want to continue to play that 3 4 with the two down linemen, uh, and teams are going to run on that uh, formation right. that you're in, right. they got to be more physical on that. Spot. Absolutely. So. I want to thank Eric for stopping by once again at PackersNews.com. Be sure to stay tuned with us throughout the offseason for all your updates and free agent news on the Green Bay Packers. Until next time, though, we'll see you later.